So in the last two tutorials, I've shown you two simple ways of adding new cues to your project. But so now that I have this setup and say I want to make some changes or even add more things to my already existing cues, like for example this one where I've stored one variation of this media that I want to change a bit. And then I can store those changes by once again dragging and dropping that media on top of the existing queue. And because it's the same parameters that we're dragging in, it will override what's already in there. And then in this queue, I've got another media linked to the surface and two variations of that media in these two queues. And so I can make yet another variation of this media without having to create even more queues. Instead, I can simply drag this new variation into this queue that we already have and yet another variation into this other one. So now I've merged information about two separate medias into these two queues. Meaning that when this media is outputted, I have variations of it in all four of these queues. As well as when I output this media in this queue, I still have the previous two variations of that media stored in these two queues. And so we could keep adding more and more things into the same queues. And also, I don't need to have the surface and media parameters divided over separate queues. Like in this queue where I currently only have the surface stored, I can merge that together with this media's parameters. So I can make a variation of this media and drag it in to store it. And since we're dragging in the media, which has separate parameters than what's already stored, nothing will overwrite. The different parameters will merge and store in the same queue. So now we have both this surface with the media linked to it, and it has its own variation of the media's parameters stored in it. And in the next tutorial, we will jump into the edit mode to show you how we can easily keep track of all of these cues.